Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on coordinate geometry, uh, which involves uh, circles and tangent. And we're going to look at, we're going to find the centers of centers and radius of three circles, and we're going to sketch, sketch the circles as well. Uh, we need to find a common point from which uh, tangents to the circles start, and also we're going to find the length of the tangents which start from a common point. Okay, we want to find the length of the tangents to the three circles and the tangents start from a common point. Now, for all this, you get six marks. So, there's an assumption here that you do not do not have to start from first principles, but I'm going to try my best and do uh, start from the basics. Right, next slide. Right, now these are the questions and it says uh, given three circles and the first one has got the general formula which is x squared plus y squared minus 16x plus 60 is equal to zero. Uh, circle number two which I call c2 is x squared plus y squared minus 12x plus 20 is equal to zero. And for c3 we got x squared plus y squared minus 16x minus 12y plus 84 is equal to zero. And these are the questions. It says, it says, sorry, it says sketch the circles. And then secondly, it says uh, find the coordinates of a point such that the lengths of the tangents from this point to each of the three circles are equal. Right, now, instead of doing uh, completing the squares, I've done what I think is the easier way of doing this, is to rewrite uh, this uh, formula, this general formula, into this format here. I've got x squared plus y squared plus 2 into minus 8x plus 60 is equal to 0. Now, 2, to, two times minus 8x will give me 16x there. So, I've made no difference at all then by doing this way. Now, same thing applies for circle 2. Again, instead of, 12, instead of minus 12x, I've got, my, I've got plus 2 into 2 times minus 6x. And for circle 3, instead of 16x, I got 2 times minus 8x. And instead of minus 12y, I got 2 into minus 6y. So I've, bought, I've made no difference at all. Okay? Just like it's easier to use this method to find the center of the circle and the radius as well. So let's start with C3. Now, the, the, the coordinates of the center of the circle for C3 will be... Uh, minus minus 8 and minus minus 6 which will give us 8 and 6 as we got there and the radius is going to be uh, you have to uh, state your formula in this general format there now the radius is going to be the square root of the squares of the coordinates which is a squared plus c squared minus the constant term which is 84 there and when you take the square root of 16, you get 4. So now we've got the center of C3 is 8, 6, and the radius is 4. Similarly, for C1, oh, right, no, sorry, ahead of myself. Now, can you go back and check if you do x minus 8 all squared and y minus 6 all squared in the standard format? If you expand this, can you check that you get the same answer as I've got there? Okay, they should be the same. Just this is easier, I think. Right now, for C1, again the centers will be uh, minus minus eight and then zero, so it's eight zero, and the radius will be the square root of the sum of the squares minus the constant term. So we've got we've got s squared plus zero squared minus sixty, which is constant term, and we get two there. So the radius is two. Similarly, for C2, we've got this here. And for C2, we got center 6, 0, and radius of 4 there. Okay? So now, to sketch, to sketch our circles, we've got the centers and we've got radius. And that's what we got there. For circle C1, uh, if, we just, if we just ignore the accuracy for now, uh, you have to excuse me, package. For circle C1, I've got this, like, this there. And for circle C2, I've got that there. And for circle C3, I've got that there. Now, in the actual question itself, for getting this point T1, 
turn 0 right and for getting this point h2 right, you get a mark for that. They are very significant, as you see later on. Right, for the next question, that we want to find uh, the length of uh, a tangent that starts from, from a point x sub 1 and y sub 1 to a point t on the circle there. Now, this is a right angle triangle, so we need to use Pythagoras there. So to find pt squared, we've got pt squared is equal to pc squared minus ct squared, where ct squared, don't forget, is the radius, and we need to use this formula we've got there to find that. So pt squared will be uh, pc squared, and pc squared will be x sub prime 1 minus a all squared plus y sub prime 1 minus b all squared. So that will give us pc squared. And ct squared, which is radius, we rely on this formula here, which is the the sum, the square of the sum of the coordinates of the center of the set of the circle. In this case, a, a and b. So a squared plus b squared minus a constant term, which we don't know yet. Okay. So that's this. This is our radius squared. Open up our brackets. We end up with all this there. Okay, I'm going to put the same in them all. So now, if we then um, cancel out the x's, the a's cancel out, a squares cancel out, b squares cancel out. So you end up with this here, and the b squares also cancel out. So finally, our b t squared will give us this here. Now, note here that this is similar to this one here. Yes? It, it actually mimics uh, this formula here. So that's right now for this slide, I've uh, done the uh, the circles again, but this time a bit more accurately than uh, I did last time, because this is a better package than what I did by hand. Right now, you can see here again that the circles one and two we touch at the point ten zero. Now. This is very significant because the only way these two circles can have a common tangent is for them to have uh, a tangent that has a coordinate of 10. Okay, at s coordinate of 10 there. Now, this, in this a2 here, the 2 is also significant, as you find later on. Right, now what I've done is now to... Um, I've um, copied down what I got from the last slide from into this format there and then I've multiplied out these uh, 2 and 8 and 2 and 6 and 2 and minus 8 there so I end with up with this one here so my new c1 c2 and c3 will be this in this format here now okay now if we do c3 minus c1 we end up with this here and so the x squares will cancel out so will the y squares and so will the uh, all the x ones will also cancel out as well, so we end up with uh, minus 12y plus 84 minus 60. 84 minus 60 will give us 24 there. And when we rearrange, we find out that uh, 12y is equal to 24 and y sub 1 is 2, so y is 2. Now, similarly, if we do uh, c2 minus c1, that is circle 2 minus circle 1, that's this one here minus this one here, as we got there. Uh, the x squares will again cancel out and the y squares will again cancel out. Now, 12x, sorry, minus 12, sorry, minus 12x minus minus 16x will give, give us uh, plus 4y and 20 minus 60 give us minus, minus 40. So we end up with f uh, 4x sub 1 minus 40 give us 0, which means 4x sub 1 is equal to 40. Uh, divided by 4, x is going to be 10. So now, p, which is the, the starting point of our tangent, is now 10, 2. And this is why uh, this, these points are significant there. Now, to find the length, we, uh, we substitute this value of 10 and 2, of x is 10 and y is 2, into any of these equations there. And you get that pt, which is square root of 4, is going to give us 2 there. And that's where we stop. Please go back and have a look at the uh, the whole uh, presentation again, and I hope it all makes sense to you.
Please subscribe and I see you again sometime.